Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. I'm Joe for Jaspies CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Contenders Baseball 4 box. Pick your team number six. Thanks everyone. With a $500 break credit randomizer at the at the very end if you follow the instructions there. Top five has a chance to win 100 break credit each. It's not too shabby. But let's do the break first. Big thanks to all of these wonderful people here for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. Nick Sanders, a lot, of, a lot of teams there. Good luck to him. Good luck to everybody. Remember, we marked all these PYT so we know they're from the same case. Grab my knife. There we go. Nice, Hunter. Thank you. And the, you, you filled the filler. Thanks very much. So it looks like that's going to be next. Straight up spots gone. And it looks like Hunter filled up the, uh, the filler break attached to that as well. So we appreciate that. We'll get that on the schedule after I go through some orders. It is, it, is a, it is a pretty good value. Oh, no, you didn't fill up the filler. Sorry, Hunter. Not sold out yet. I just refreshed the website. Look right next to the product right there. It says win eight spots in the mixer. That still has 24 spots left. And if you look in the break schedule, it'll tell you what fillers we need to do to accomplish what breaks. So, sorry. False alarm, ladies and gentlemen. Always remember to look out for those filler breaks. There's Anthony K to 99. That goes to the Blue Jays, Steve Birch. But we're almost there. All right, and look at this. Randy Arozarena. Rookie ticket autograph for Ryan H. and the Rays. That was a late pickup, too. That was just sitting there. Very nice here. Kevin Cash, your manager, your AL manager of the year in 2020. And there's Casey Martin from Arkansas. I need the MLB draft class, class up to see where he goes. Yeah, you got me. You got me all excited, Hunter. I was like, oh, he did the filler too. It's all good. It'll happen. It'll happen eventually. All right, Ryan Harold saying Phillies. Let me double check that. Correct, 87th pick overall out of Arkansas, going to the Philadelphia Phillies. That goes to Nick Sanders. Actually, let me, let me write these down. Fighting Phils. Once again, for Nick Sanders, gets this up-and-coming prospect. Hopefully, turns out to be an all-star, an MVP someday. Then all of a sudden, that card will be worth a, worth a ton. And we got Nick Gonzalez, 33 out of 75 out of New Mexico State. Are those the, the Lobos, maybe? And that's your seventh overall pick going to the Pirates. So two Pennsylvania teams here. This goes also goes to Nick Sanders and the Buckos.
Then we've got Javon Ward for Milwaukee. I think the, the Milwaukee pitcher won NL Rookie of the Year, beating out Alec Baum and uh, Jake Cronenworth. I thought Cronenworth was going to take it, but... Of course, Kyle Lewis took the AL Rookie of the Year. Is MVP tomorrow? Nick Sanders with the Brew Crew. And we've got World Series champion Tony Gonsolin. Rookie ticket autograph. It's going to go to Tyler and the Dodgers. Last spot mojo. Hunter's hoping Hunter uh, Hunter's hoping Freddie Freeman MVP. He's he's got he's the front runner, right? He bets is has got to be Mookie Betts has got to be pretty close too, but I think, I think they might give it to probably might give it to Freddie Freeman at the end. Oh, did they already? I didn't. I was, that was going to be my next question, Brad. But it looks like Don Mattingly won Manager of the Year for the NL. That makes sense. That was my that was my prediction earlier. No AL. They just announced. About five minutes ago, Kevin Cash just officially won it. We've got MLB Network on right now. There's Charlie Blackman to 10. 7 out of 10 on that one. And Matt Mervis for Chicago. Cubbies, Ryan Harold. And the Charlie Blackman goes to Nick Sanders. And we've got Spencer Tor oh. Why was that turned around like that? Oliver with the Tigers. Jose Urquidy for the Strohs. That's going to be for Sean Maddock. There's Daniel Cabrera. Draft, pick, ticket, on, card, autograph. Daniel Cabrera is a competitive balance round B selection. 62 overall outfielder out of LSU. He went to the Tigers. It's going to go to Oliver and the Tigers. We've got Legacy, Frank Thomas, the Big Hurt, to 99. Chicago, that'll be for Sean Maddock. Trust me, she'll like it too. We've got Max Meyer from Minnesota. I think they are the, are they Gophers, I think, out there? Golden, Golden Gophers, maybe? Max Meyer is your number three overall pick. Out of Minnesota, pitcher for the Marlins. He's out of college. We might see him with the Marlins. Two, three season, three or four seasons if he's healthy enough. Who's got Miami? Nick Sanders has Miami. We've got a, we've got a manager of the year now. Miami. They were ahead of schedule last year. 
across 60 games, even with even with COVID cases too. There's Bryce Elder for the Bravos, Nick Sanders with that one. No, JMS, grumpy as usual. Shakes my head, shaking my head, giving out awards for a third of a baseball season. I think they would have been way different with the 162 game season. Probably, but it wasn't a 162 game season. There's Yu Chang, so it is what it is. Should they have not done a playoffs at that point? No World Series then. You know what? Cancel the season. There's Yu Chang. Nick Sanders with the Indians. I also feel like there's there's probably there's probably uh, bonuses involved if you win certain awards. So in people's contracts, that might have been something where they where they negotiated that and said that's got to still happen. Awards. Oh, Cy Young Award tomorrow. Most of that will play on Thursday. People like awards too, JMS. Just give them, give the players the awards. <laughs> Doesn't mean anything. They might, and some of them might get a little bonus. No big deal. Doesn't change anything in the standings. There's Sheldon Nusi, Nick Sanders, on card autograph. That's for Nick Sanders and the A's. And we got cracked ice. JD Martinez, four out of twenty-three for Boston. Nick Sanders with the Red Sox. Kevin Ginkle, Snakes, Nick Sanders. Well, 2020 has already impacted 2021, JMS. <laughs> so you're not going to get that restart. Basketball season's already delayed. Who knows what's going to happen with baseball. Might not even have fans in the stands for the first however many games of the NBA and the MLB for that matter. All right, that... Uh, Galloway, who is that? Yeah, Lan Isaac Galloway goes to Nick and the Marlins. Anthony K on card goes to Steve and the Blue Jays. Here's what I don't like about the awards, though. Uh, I wish they would just do it all in one night. And there is Kwang Hyun Kim, 22 out of 75, on-card autograph for the Cardinals, Nick Sanders. Right, NHL starts delayed as well. <laughs> that would be, that's, that's awfully optimistic for someone like you, Jameis. <laughs> I think that might take a while. Hey, it'd be great if it was that fast, but I don't think it will be. Nick Matten, Nick Matone. Or Matten, how are you, what are you guys, what are you guys gonna go with on that? Nick Sanders, Matten or Matone? I guess he's just meat until he makes the bigs. I'm not gonna have to don't, don't have to learn his name until he's I don't know like a is he a top ten prospect for the Phillies? Maybe a top 10 organizational prospect.
Well, what did the Mets do in this offseason? We got uh, Sandy Alderson being... Mets have a new owner, new front office. <laughs> That's a good question, right now. Maybe. Maybe not. You just have to trick him. Just tell him it's a standard flu shot. All right, but I don't know. I mean, Mets could make them. Mets could really do some damage in the off season. They could really shake things up. What do you think, folks? Lewis Thorpe from Australia. He's now in Minnesota. That's a long way from Australia. Sixty-four out of seventy-five. You think there's a direct flight between Minneapolis to Australia? How long does that take? Nick Sanders with the Twins. Maybe you have to stop over in L.A. There could be a direct. I don't know. Is there a direct flight? Someone look that up. Direct flight from Minneapolis to, say, Sydney. I have no idea where he's from. but To 149, there's Matt Boyd for the Tigers. And we've got Austin um, Shenton. For the Mariners, Steve Birch with the M's. There are not there are not right now. Were there direct flights pre-pandemic? And there's Jordan Yamamoto. 30 out of 75. Jordan going to Nick Sanders and the Fish. Ryan Harold, are you? Oh yeah, Ryan Harold, you're a Mets fan. Give us your thoughts. Do you like the new ownership? Steve Cohen intro officially introduced as Mets owner and CEO. I think the owners ratified that what last week. Mets are gonna try to sign Springer and Lindor, maybe Jake Bauer. Cohen said it's about making the fans happy, not about money. Is that lip service or? or or do you, do you like what you hear there? I feel like those are pretty good pickups that aren't just like blindly signing players, but those are some quality players that can help now and in the future. And there's Matt Tice. He got, uh, he got rid of Brody Van Wagner. I saw that. That was step one. You love all of this, says Ryan Harold. Good. Good. The fans are happy. Wait, are you, are you in the minority in that, or are a majority of Mets fans happy? I would imagine they have to be. Nobody liked that Mets ownership, right? Now, if only he can get rid of James Dolan, New York would be happy. And sign and fire Adam Gase, I guess. 51 out of 99 winning ticket, Vlad Guerrero Jr. No direct flights, but it would be 18 hours and 30 minutes. I, w I would pay up for the for like some sort of sleeper cabin or something like that. Adrian Morajon, rookie ticket autograph. <laughs> nice one for the Padres, Nick Sanders. I think I wonder how I don't remember what a Dodger dog and a Coke would. Cost at Dodger Stadium. City Field, 14, 15 bucks. It's a pretty good Dodger dog, though. The Coke is pretty refreshing. There's Chad Sabotka. Atlanta Braves, Nick Sanders. Make the fans happy and charge five. I think the Dodgers did that when, uh, when they first because uh, McCourt, remember you guys remember the whole Frank McCourt drama they, uh, and that's the break folks they, one of the first things they did uh, was take parking from like, because Mc, Frank McCourt had slowly jacked up parking prices over time and it was at kind of a ridiculous level, I think it was like 25 bucks a car at some point just a quick little recap right there. But the first thing new ownership did was like they, they brought it down to $10 a car for like two or three seasons, which was awesome. It went a long way. Um, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was four box pick team six, 2020 Panini Contenders Baseball. The next four box break is from a fresh case, and it still has the same 
break credit promo right there. So if you bought at least two teams, guess what? You're eligible for a little bit of money. So let's do that as well. Let's alphabetize by your first names. Nick Sanders got 20 teams. That's 10 entries. Oliver got two teams. That's an entry. Ryan Harold got two teams. That's an entry. Sean Maddock got two teams. That's an entry. Steve Birch got two teams. That's an entry. And Tyler Rutledge got two teams. That is an entry. Right there. So let's put a, all the names in one list right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Two and a five, seven times for each list. The top five names get $100 of break credit each. The top five out of 15 after seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got Nick, Nick, Steve, Oliver, and Ryan Harold. There you go. $100 of break credit for you. Check your uh, emails, check your spam folders. It'll be sent in an automated email in the shape of a gift card code. It'll say it's a gift card code. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.